Throw to the devil thy melancholy, the fire burns well. What need we keep a stirring of it to make a greater smother? Thou'll kill Antonio? Yes. Come to me after midnight and help to remove that body to her own lodging. I'll give out she died of the plague, it will breathe a less inquiry after her death. Fail not to come. You shall find me ready. Well, good Antonio, I'll seek thee out, and all my care shall be to put thee into safety from the reach of these most cruel biters that have got some of thy blood already. Still, methinks the Duchess haunts me. There, there. Tis nothing but my melancholy. This fortification, in my opinion, gives the best echo that you ever heard. So hollow and so dismal, and withal so plain in the distinction of our words, that many have supposed it is a spirit that answers. I do love such ancient ruins. We never tread upon them, but we set our foot upon some reverent history. <laughs> All things have their end. Churches and cities which have diseases like to men must have like death that we have. Now the echo hath caught you. Well, it groomed me thought and gave a very deadly accent. Deadly accent. You may make it a huntsman, a falconer, a musician or a thing of sorrow? A thing of sorrow. Tis very like my wife's voice. Ah, my wife's voice. Come, let's walk further front. I would not have you go tonight to the cardinal. Oh. Do not. Do not. Be mindful of thy safety. Be mindful of thy safety. Necessity compels me. Make scrutiny throughout the passes of your own life. You'll find it's impossible to fly your fate. Oh, fly your fate. Oh. Hark, the dead stones seem to have pity on you and give you good counsel. Echo, I will not talk with thee, for thou art a dead thing. Thou art a dead thing. Oh, my Duchess is asleep now. With her little ones. I hope sweetly. Oh, heaven, shall I never see her more? I never see her more. I marked not one repetition of the echo but that. On a sudden, a clear light presented me a face folded in sorrow. Your fancy merely. Mm, come, I'll be out of this ague. For to live thus is not indeed to live. It is a mockery and abuse of life. I will not henceforth save myself by halves. Lose all or nothing. Your own virtue save you. I'll fetch your eldest son and second you in this. It may be the sight of his own blood, spread in so sweet a figure, may beget the more compassion in the Cardinal. You shall not watch tonight by the sick prince. His grace is very well recovered. Good, my lord. Suffer us. Oh, by no means. The noise and change of object in his eye doth more distract him. I pray all to bed. And though you hear him in his violent fit, do not rise, I entreat you. So, sir, we shall not. If your throat were cutting, I'd not come at you. Now I have protested against it. Why, I thank you. I may with better privacy convey Julia's body to her own lodging. Oh, my conscience. I would pray now. The devil takes away my heart for having any confidence in prayer. About this hour, I appointed Boesler to fetch the body. When he had served my turn, he dies. Could I take him at his prayers? There were hope of pardon. Right, my sword. I'll not give thee so much leisure as to pray. Oh, I'm gone. Send it along, so to with it. What art thou? A most wretched thing that only have thy benefit in death to appear myself. Where are you, sir? Very near my home. Oh, 
all misfortune. Smother thy pity, thou dead else. Antonio, the man I would have saved by my own life. I'll whisper one thing in thy dying ear, shall make thy heart break quickly. Thy fair duchess and two sweet children. I never imagined he has a little life in me. Are murdered. Some men have wished to die at the hearing of sad tidings. I'm glad I shall do it in sadness. I would not now wish my wounds arms nor heel, for I have no use to put my life to. In all our quest of greatness, like wanton boys whose pastime is their care, we follow after bubbles blow in the air. Pleasure of life. What is it? Only the good hours of an ague, merely a preparative to rest. To endure vexation. I do not ask the process of my death. Only commend me to Delio. Break heart. Let my son fly the courts of princes. Thou seems to have loved Antonio. I brought him hither to have reconciled him to the cardinal. Do not ask thee that. Take him up if thou tender thine own life. Oh, my fate moves swift. I have this cardinal in the forge already. Now I'll bring him to the hammer. Thinks I see a thing armed with a rake that seems to strike at me. Ah, art thou come? That looks ghastly. I am come to kill thee. Huh? Help, Pagan! Thou art deceived there out of thy howling. Fie upon his counterfeiting. Why, it is not the cardinal. Yes, yes, tis he, but I'll see him hanged here. I'll go down to him. You would not bawl so loud then! Come, come, let's go to bed. The accent of the voice sounds not in jest. I'll down to him. the door to let him rescue. What cause hast thou to pursue my life? Look there. Antonio? Slain by my hand unwittingly. Pray and be sudden. When thou killedst thou sister, thou tookst from justice her most equal balance and left her naught but her sword. Fool! Mercy! Now it seems thy greatness was only outward, for thou fallest faster of thyself than calamity can drive thee. Shall I die like a leveret without any resistance? Help. 